Welcome back, any lovers. Today, we're checking out thought experiments. They're gonna grab yourself a plate. Have you ever had that question where it's like, oh, hey, you have one person on one rail and four people on the other, where would you pull the lever to, you know, run the train down one lane or the other? That's what this is all about. It's all about the checking out the theories and doing those type of things and, and kind of figuring out, but in a very humorous way. So we're gonna hop in here, check out the game for a little while. If you do like it, of course, please check the links down below. And as always, thanks for hitting that sub button and that bell. Story mode, dive into debates between history's greatest philosophers, exploring thought experiments and gain insight through their perspectives. Sure. Story mode, trolley problem. Have you ever heard of the trolley problem? A runaway trolley threatens five lives, but by pulling the lever, we can redirect it to take only one. Frederick Nice Nice? A German philosopher challenged traditional morality, famously declaring God is dead to signify the decline of religious and metaphysical certainty. He emphasized the will to power, the importance of individualism, and the concept of the Ubermensch. His work profoundly influenced ex uh, I can't I can never say this word. I've tried so ex exist uh, exist uh, I can't never say it. Ponder is a post uh, postmodernism and psychology. I can never say that word ever. It is a compelling example of ethical dilemmas that challenge our principles. To act or not, each choice bears its own consequences. Aristotle, a Greek philosopher, made pivotal contributions across metaphysics, ethics, logic, and natural sciences. He championed empiricism. I'm sorry, empire. Impu I can't even say that word either, man. Asserting knowledge derives from sensory experience and introduced teleology, the idea that everything in nature has a purpose. His theories on virtue ethics. Uh, Cause causality and the prime mover deeply influenced Western philosoph uh, philosophical thought. Confucius, the essence of this problem speaks to the core of human morality. How do we choose when each path leads to harm? It is the harmony of actions and outcomes that we must consider. Confucius was the Chinese philosopher whose thoughts centered on morality, social relationships, and justice laid the foundation for Confucianism. His emphasis on the importance of ethics and personal and governmental conduct, the role of benevolent uh, leadership, and the value of education in cultivating virtue and societal harmony. His teachings profoundly shaped East Asian culture. Balance and moder moderation guide the moral compass. Rejecting the trolley saves more lives, aligning with the doctrine of the mean, seeking the greater good while minimizing harm. But let us not forget the importance of righteousness and propriety. Sacrificing one for many, though prag pragmatic, must also respect the dignity rights of the individual. True Confucius, our actions must reflect not only the logical, but the ethical virtues. Wisdom lies in discerning the right course, even in the face of such moral ambiguity. It begs the question, does the act of rejecting the trolley itself carry a moral weight, or is it the consequence of an action that defines its righteousness? Ah, but consider the will to power. Rejecting the trolley asserts the dominance over fate. A refusal to succumb to the passive acceptance of the many demise. Your point illuminates the significance of agency and choice in ethics. The act of deciding reflects our capacity of rational thought and moral reasoning. <laughs> let the let the men argue. Let's go. Let's go to the decision part. Charlie problem has been unlocked. Play it now. You can also play it later in sim mode. Let's do it. Ah, welcome. I suppose you're here for something entirely ordinary. But let me be clear, this is not your typical ride. You might face some deceptively simple choices, twists on the classic trolley problem. But remember, not everything is as it seems. Enjoy the conundrum, or don't. It's entirely up to you. Sorry. Nice poll. Very decisive. Oh. The witch is going to turn the frog. The kid's going to turn the kid into the frog. Oh. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone's prince just turned back into a frog. Romantic. I meant to go the other way, actually. I meant to go here. Three aliens or... But we don't know anything about aliens. Let's kill Reptar. He's deceptive. Or Reptar. Let's kill Godzilla. What? 
History repeats itself. I'm just a bit more direct. What? Why would I not kill the cake here? <laughs> oh, the dinosaurs are crying. No more cake. But at least everyone's here to complain about it. Pineapple on pizza or not on pizza? I love pineapple on pizza, so I'm okay with this. Wait, then you kill the not on pizza. Oh, look at the cat. Look at the wedding cake. Long live the pineapple. Oh, this is the wrong decision? Oh, God. Um, Kill a unicorn or kill a dragon? I love dragons more, but I'll, I'll do it because the unicorn is obviously sweet. Look at the Italian so mad at pineapple the pizza. Passion, power, and... Dragons under trolleys. Oh. Something's gonna happen. You know something's gonna happen. Well, I guess that's one way to minimize the paperwork. Rip. Um. We're going this way. Choo -choo. You've just promoted Frog to human. Hope he enjoys the job market. We'll keep this way. Look at this sad face. Earth's intergalactic relations might get a bit more tense. But. Suck in drifting. Easy level loose. Oh, each level loose endlessly. Oh. Okay. What? Trolley tracks to galactic tracks in three, two, one. Oh, we saved both the cat and the thing. Um, let's see what happens when we kill this. How do they get drifting? They like pull it. I guess I have a chair. Pull a bold it. Move. The culinary purists salute you. Yay! I kill a unicorn. Let's kill a unicorn before anyway. Looks like you prefer a more colorful commute. Yeah, I like dragons. I want to see if you pull it right when they like come across. <laughs> nope, didn't work. Okay. What's the next one? Infant monkey. I've stumbled across a fascinating theory that might tickle our intellects, the Infant Monkey Theorem. Mary Wollstonecraft, a British writer and philosopher, is renowned for her advocacy, uh, advo adv uh, advocacy of women's rights. In her groundbreaking work, A Vindic in Vindication of the women Rights to Women, she argues for women's education and equality, challenging the traditional notion of women's inferiority to men and laying the foundation of feminists. Okay. I don't like y'all. I just, I just wanna, I just want, I just want to get to the, the next part. You stumbled upon a peculiar place where a single button can unleash a torrent of alphabetical mess. You might think it's just a simple game of typing, but don't be deceived. Every click is a part of a larger chaos. Okay. Here we go. Tapping into the unknown, one letter at a time. You got the first one right. Onwards to the next. Oh, uh, so you're clicking to get. Oh my gosh. Two down. A few more to go. So many letters. Four letters. You're closing on the finish. I don't know if it gotta stop when it hits it, or if it does it fly by. Where's the E? 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 What are these letters are random? 
and you just be forever in this, you know? Unplugged. And surprisingly, nothing's happened. Good monkey. Splendid work. Ta da! The twist. A new alphabet appears. Oh, numbers. Ah, you found the infinite switch. I must confess, even I realize that endlessly tapping I love it. patient person impatient. So consider this a a small mercy to spare your clicking finger. Thank Enjoy you. The show, let the monkey do its work. Can you imagine how much your arm would hurt with this? Oh god, my arm would I heard it was fall off. So here's all signs like greater, You're less than. Streak. Hmm. Four down. One more time. And then you just wait, I guess, for a thousand. Promising start. That first letter just clicked into place. Oh, still here typing away these mysterious new glyphs, are you? It's one more time. Or perhaps just a remarkable level of boredom. And nonetheless, if it's these unconventional alphabets that capture your fancy, who am I to judge? Keep going, my good friend. <laughs> Keep going. <clears throat> I just like the infinite button. And then you also click. I like his voiceover too. His voiceover is great. Come on. Come on. Come on. No? No? There we go. Guess you eventually hit the thousand when you do this, right? There's a thousand there. What's the third part? The Veil of Ignorance. I'll slowly click through this so you guys can, if you want to stop and read it, I'll do that. This way y'all can read it. If you want to stop and pause, you can read it. I'm not going to read it right now. Socrates! This is a feeling if I read this, the video will be like 40 minutes, 50 minutes. <laughs> and I don't want to produce that long of a video at the moment. I also feel like you always, ever feel like reading out loud is a little tougher in a sense of like obviously you're pronouncing everything but in your head you can pronounce it but like sometimes pronouncing it out loud and actual speaking is quite hard to sometimes hit the right words or, or pronunciations a veil that hides not just figures but choices Distribute these coins, will you? Without knowing which piggy is your ally in this game of unseen fairness. After all, the coins are yours to allocate, and the consequences, well, they're yours to discover. Wow. And with a single coin, the game of unseen stakes begins. You could actually do three each. Blind justice served by blind choice. Ching. Your own piggy sits empty. The generosity overtakes self-preservation. There you go. I, I kind of knew where this was going with these two right here. Oh, there's a hint button. I didn't even see that. Oh, this is walking up the mountain. I remember this. To roll a boulder up a hill, only to watch it roll back down of top, reaching the top. Oh. Okay, East Roman Empire taught mathematics, astronomy, and philosophy. 
How pretty do you see this reflecting in our lives? Where it seems to me an exercise in fertility. Ah, but there lies in the beauty, an act of struggle. Right? These are it actually quite is interesting how if let's say that all these philosophers had were in one room, it'd be quite interesting to see how they would speak and and if it would be a, like a general debate of how large their brains are basically, <laughs> or like who's right, or if they would somehow come to a general consensus with who they are and 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 what their ideas are and, and acceptance, you know. Ah, you find yourself at the foot of the hill. Ready to take on an endless challenge. Move forward and let's see how you face the slope of existential conundrum. Sisyphus sets off. Each click, a step towards the re Over again, over again, over again. Peak that awaits. With every footprint you find, he climbs. Bound by fate to push his burden upward. Is that Goku? Off his hat. Oh, poor Sisyphus. As if his task wasn't hard enough already. Now, because of your click, he's got to face that uphill battle bare-headed. Watch where you're clicking next time. Sorry. Look at that. Sisyphus has switched up his headgear again as he resets his clock. Who knew that fashion could make an ancient punishment a bit more interesting? <laughs> what the hell is he wearing now? What in the hell? As the boulder rolls back to the base, Sisyphus watches his fleeting pro. So it's over again, and it's over. It's probably like six times, and this is what, yeah, ten times probably. Destined to begin. That's why the O's are. Put a diaper in his head. Shoulders for another ascent. Each step as inevitable. Oh, oh. again. There goes his hat, tumbling down just like that boulder. Sisyphus really didn't need that extra challenge. Try to keep the hats on yep, his head. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Plunger! With the hat knocking, Sisyphus has enough on his plate without you adding a breeze to his scalp. Let's try to keep the accessories in place next round, okay? I like that he I like that the uh, director reacts to your like I like the voiceovers. The boulder betrays Sisyphus's efforts. Rolling down the slope to its starting point. Alright. It seems like knocking off his hat is just a part of the game for you. See? That's how it's going to be. I suppose Sisyphus will just have to be lost to it. Carry on. Reminds me almost like the uh, Beat Saber games that you like sit there and you click the right ones here. Clown. Here are the clown, please. They're scary. Go, 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 go. And down rolls the boulder. Yet Sisyphus meets it with a knowing smile, ready to march up the hill was, was that a graduate thing? In this eternal return, he finds his own slice of happiness, embracing the absurdity with each step he retraces in the relentless cycle. I just want the last substar now. I've come this far. I want another star. I want the last star. I've come this far. I want that last star. I've come so far. In the end, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I want that last star. Come on. There it is. I'm happy. All right, folks. Thank you so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet, where we'll help you find your next favorite indie. Peace.